Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl, Alicia B. And today I'm going to show you guys how I created my vision board for 2023. Even though the new year already started, I love vision boards because they're not only New Year specific, they are catered to changes that you want to make in your life. So say for instance you're in school and you start a new semester, you can make a vision board for your new semester. If you are on a weight loss challenge, you can make a vision board for your weight loss challenge or a vision board for things that you want in life, a new car, a house, clothes, whatever the case may be, you can make a vision board. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made my vision board for 2023 and how you could cater it to whatever aspect in your life you want to cater it to. I am super excited because this channel is going on the up and up. So if you want to be a part of the up train, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and the post notification bell. That way you get notified every single time I post another hit video. And without further ado guys, let's get right into it. So for my 2023 vision board, I obviously use my iPad. I use this for everything. As you guys know, in my previous videos, I say my iPad is my life. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So I'm going to actually screen record. I'm going to move over so you guys have space. So you can see actually what I'm seeing recording. And we are going to get started. Right, so first things first, when you decide on making your vision board, you can make it for a plethora of things. You can make it for the full year. You can make it for half the year, a three quarters of the year. You can make it for your semester, your whole school year. So it is not a one size fits all. It could be made to cater you in whatever way you want. So today we're just going to do one for the whole year. Um, it's going to be like a broad way of how to do it. So that way you could um, customize it to whatever you want. We have it in your mind of the things that you want to do. First things first, you're going to take out whatever is in your mind and write it down on paper. This way the brain sees exactly what needs to get done. Because if you leave it in your brain, it's going to be all jumbled up. You're going to be stressed. You're going to forget things. And that's how you, um, you don't accomplish goals that way. So you want to make sure you want to see what you want to do and then um, execute it. So now we're gonna start off by writing out all of the goals that we wanna accomplish in 2023. You just start off with like a scrap piece of paper or if you're on your iPad or your phone, you just put the notes. For me, I'm using good notes. And then you just title it Vision Board 2023, okay? And then things you wanna accomplish. So these are custom to what I want to accomplish. Um, so you just basically write down whatever things that you want to accomplish. It doesn't have to be in any particular order. Whatever just comes to your mind, just put it down. So for me, my first thing is wake up early. Work out more. So now that we have everything that we want to accomplish, what we're going to do now is we're going to go find pictures that correspond to all the lists that we wrote. So for me, I love to go on Pinterest. Pinterest is my go-to. You can also go on Google, you can go on Instagram, you can go wherever you guys um, go to get pictures. But for me, because Pinterest is so much easier and it's just like right there, I just prefer to go to Pinterest. So Pinterest it is. So we're on Pinterest. And I'm just going to split screen this so that way I don't have to keep on going back and forth. Okay, so my first one on my vision board is wake up early. So I will probably put something like sunrise. And you want to put like pictures that look pretty and it's more appealing. That way your vision board looks really, really good. So I have sunrise here. So I could choose I'll choose this picture so what you want to do after this is you want to save those pictures onto your device that way when you're ready to make your board you can just easily access all those pictures so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now okay so since you have all your pictures saved on your phone now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get a clean paper on your device or even if you're doing it on like a bristle board whatever so for me i'm using a blank sheet with no lines no dots so nothing on my good notes and i'm just gonna export or import 
I don't know what it is. But I'm just going to put all the pictures from my gallery into that document. Alright, so now that we have all the pictures on that blank document, what you want to do is you want to rearrange those pictures in a way that just looks really pretty. Um, if you want, you can put down a list and then you can just write down the names, that, like the words that correspond to that picture. You can do that as well. You can do whatever way you want. You just want to make sure that it looks appealing and it makes you want to achieve those goals. So for me, I like to have mine in like a collage-like or mosaic-like um, picture. So that's what I'm going to do. So basically what I do is I just resize the pictures and I make them look really good. And I try to separate all the colors. So like say for instance both of the pictures have like a pinkish hue to it. I don't add all the pink to one corner. I kind of spread it out so that way it just looks more balanced. And this honestly could take a while. It just makes... Like, you just want to make it look really nice, and you want to make it look appealing, and you're not going to get it on the first try, obviously, but just put it in a way that you just want to achieve those goals. Like, you chose them for a reason, so try and accomplish them. So, for instance, this was how my first vision board looked. Um, I did not like it at all. It looked too jumbled. It didn't look cohesive. It looked, it looked bad. <laughs> now that I'm looking back at it, I did not like it at all. So I rearranged the pictures. I took some things out, like this big 2023. I took that out because that looked really bad. And then when I rearranged everything, this is what I got. And this one looks so much better. It looks more cohesive. It has that mosaic look that I like. And that is what I... <clears throat> wow. Sorry, guys. It is so dry in here. But yeah. It has that mosaic look that I like and it looks appealing. It looks like I want to achieve it. And one thing that I also did was I added little words to each picture. That way I kind of know what that picture represents. So that is how I make my vision board. And I love doing it on GoodNotes because for one, what I also like to do is print them out and I like to put them on my board. So what I do is I save this picture on a whole and the way you can do that if you have good notes is to click on the square with the arrow and then you're going to see export this page click it and then you can save it as your image and then you just press export and then it will be sent to your gallery save image and now it's in your gallery so what you could do now is go to your gallery and it should be the last picture there and there you go this is your vision board I love it so what I also did was I set this vision board as my background of my iPad and also on my laptop that way wherever I'm on my computer whenever I'm on my laptop or even my phone this shows me as a reminder of this is my goals for 2023 I love making vision boards because it shows me all the goals that I have and all the plans I want to achieve in 2023 and I will achieve these goals okay with every fiber in my being and with God I am going to achieve these goals so I hope this video bought you motivation as well to make your vision board. If you have not made it yet, you are not too late, okay? Do not get into the stigma that vision boards are only for December 31st and January 1st. No. You can make your vision board whenever you see fit. So hopefully this gave you motivation to make your vision board, like I said. And again, if you are new, thank you for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!